Um, play a bump. Do you have a bump? <laughs> Okay. All right. Ready to fade up on four. Ready to uh, mic and cue talent. Ready to fade music in. In five, four, three, two, one. Fade up on four. <laughs> You're watching The Roundabout, and joining us today is the multi-talented Will Wood. He is a student here at William Patterson, a singer, songwriter, and leader of the band Will Wood and the Tapeworms. Welcome to The Roundabout, Will Wood. Th th thank you. How are you doing? Doing all right. Doing, uh, doing well. Doing okay. Uh, managing. Getting by. All that. Love this outfit. Mm, <laughs> Are you Sorry. okay? Is yeah, you no, I'm just a little nervous. I, I, I get this way sometimes. It's just nothing. It's like There's nothing to be nervous about. Okay. So tell me, um, what was a defining moment in you your life? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just going. It's fine. Keep going. Um, what was a defining moment in your life that made you decide that you wanted to be an artist and play music? Well, I, 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 I never like had like like I mean I've had like phases and stuff but like uh, whenever I start something I have this habit of just getting sucked into it and so when I was like 13 or 14 I had an episode of uh, hallucinations that um, I had no choice but to like you know freak out over and so I was like I know what to do I'll write a song about it I don't know why that's the, 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 the path that I took but it happened and I wrote this terrible awful song and I was like this is a great song and I, I never really stopped doing that and so now I just you know I write terrible songs and go this is a great song and feel better about what you I wrote about. You actually don't write terrible songs, you write amazing songs. I went on your YouTube ah! <laughs> and your page and it's great music. Have you ever taken any music courses or anything like that? I, uh, I studied uh, classically when I was really little but I mostly just faked knowing how to read music. I kind of just, uh, I've taken some classes but I don't really like uh, the way music education happens because it's kind of like, um, uh, it's a little structured and I can't, I broke your plant, I'm sorry. It's I'm okay. just screwing everything it's okay. It's, <laughs> okay. it's okay. Um, so where were we? Ready one. Um, Take one. You were telling me when you started to Ready play music as, as a child, did you have anyone that inspired you, Take anyone that you looked up to? Down. I saw you have like 12,000 views on one of your videos, which Take. is amazing. Yeah, uh, I, I really like, uh, uh, I, I I really like um, I, I I I like some of like the uh, the avant garde and the very uh, avant garde and the uh, the experimental yeah. side of um, uh, uh, rock music Ready. and related Ready. things. Uh, I, li I listen to a lot of Bobby Vinton. Bobby Vinton is one of my favorites. You know, Blue Velvet, Mr. Lonely. You know, that was those are the Ready days, man. Things were just like simpler, and you didn't have to like. You could just sing a song about being in love Take with one. someone. It didn't have to be filled with poetry. You didn't have to be all like, you know, I don't know. I, 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 it's, it's just like, you could just say words, you know. But I think that's what you do now. You say words, you recite poems. Yeah, that is, that is what I do. But, you know, it would be great to be able Take to, um, you know, just, I don't know. I saw Bobby Vinton, plays a mean clarinet. Great polka stuff, <laughs> fantastic. When you're on set, what do you think about? What's going through your mind when you're on set, when you're playing, before you go on a show? I, um, I don't really think very verbally when, that, when I'm in that state. It's all like, um, like, like images, uh, and not even quite images. Somewhere between an image and a sound will pop into my head, and it will symbolize something else. And that symbol will uh, connect to another one, and I'll end up in this like weird, almost you know, meditative altered state. And uh, you know, I guess that's kind of what happens to me before. I see patterns in this carpet that I'm certain are not really there. You're not on acid, are you? No, not, <laughs> not, not right now. <laughs> Going back to the 12,000 followers, some, being successful in the music industry is very hard. What do you, what do you think has helped you succeed? Like, what, what do you think sets you apart? Because there's so many people trying to do this. Um, I actually try. I know that sounds weird, but bear with me for a second. I think a lot of people, um, hey, Jip, can you they, do a moving shot? they, uh, 
they believe what they're told, the notion of, of, uh, um, uh, of how it's, it's hard or impossible okay. to make okay. any music, how it's just a dream, or it's just a pipe dream, or whatever, what have you. And I don't think that's the case at all. Um, I kind of, I guess what, I, what I'm saying is that like you have two options. You have either believe in yourself and risk failure or don't believe in yourself and guarantee failure. And uh, so I chose the former and I think, uh, um, you know, I don't know how successful I am or will be, but uh, at least I have a chance, which people who refuse to let themselves try never get. You Was there sense? any time in your life where you didn't believe in yourself and you felt like you couldn't do this? Yeah. Um, every now and again, I I feel that way. Um, once in a blue moon, I uh, I, I feel like I, I I I a friend of mine put it. A friend of mine who's also a songwriter um, uh, put it as being that like the hardest part of being a songwriter is. Uh, in between the songs where you're just kind of like, did I lose it? Am I ever going to do another one again? Is it ever going to be good again? And um, so uh, every couple of days, yeah. Um, well, that's amazing. You seem like you're doing an amazing job. Thank you. I'm definitely going to go check out one of your shows because I checked out your YouTube and your page, and it looks awesome. So I'm thank, glad. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. To learn more about Will Wood and his band, you can find them online at willwoodandthetapeworms.com. You can also follow them on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. When we come back, Will is going to perform one of his newest songs right here live in our studio, so stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. I like that. Also might be a home.